Mary Tamu's mask. Today, we're going to do two aspects, banana and women. And as it's not lengthy, it's not long, and women is a short one. So we're looking at Mary Tamu's mask. We're looking at the, the god Tamu, small g o d. And we've done our introduction who, the Bible, resurrection, where, what, Adonis, when, morning, is star, Easter, and Anna, and women. And we are on page 9 of 17, well, 16. 16 and 17 is all the, the brains I picked for this study. So, in Anna. Inanna descent into the underworld. Demuzai, Emuzai, or Tamu, fails to mourn Inanna's death. And when she returns from the underworld, she allows a Gala demon to drag him down to the underworld as her replacement. Boy, she's moody. Because he did not mourn her death, Emuzai. Tamu is brought down to the underworld. And people believe this junk. So Anna, and Anna is down in the underworld. And she comes up out of the un underworld to have Demuzai, Hemunzai, or Tamu to go. Calls upon demons. And Unai, I'm, man, I'm getting these names to do. Forgive me. And Anna later regrets this decision and decrees that Imunzai will spend half the year in the underworld, but the other half of the year with her, while her sister Yestinana, G-E-S-H-T-I-N-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, stays in the underworld in his place, thus resulting in the cycles of the season. I thought it was the Earth's rotation not getting it, and position around the sun and the moon. I didn't realize that summer, winter, fall, fall and spring are because in Moon's Eye, Tamu's is in the underworld and Gazuna Anna takes his place in the underworld while he comes out of the underworld. Man, this is a bunch of underpants. You know what I mean? This is what this is what is believed. This is the occult that follows Easter and Christmas and the season. Now, let me come over to Genesis chapter 1. And let's see. Genesis chapter 1. Where is it? Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from night. And let them be for signs, for seasons, for days, and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night and divide the light from the darkness. And God saw it was good. The evening and the morning were the fourth day. That's the Bible I just read to you. Do you want me to read nonsense again? In Anna and Anna's descent into the underworld, in Unzai failed to mourn in Anna's death, and when she returned from the underworld, she allowed Gala demons to drag him down to the underworld as a replacement. Anna and Anna later regrets this decision, decrees that and Noon's eye will spend half the year in the underworld, 
but the other half of the with her, while hers while his sister, I may say her sister, his sister gets an Anna, stays in the underworld in his place, thus result in a cycle of the seasons. So in Moon's Eye, Tamuz has a sister that spends half the half half the year in the underworld when he's not in the underworld. And when he's in the underworld and not in the underworld, she's in the underworld and not in the underworld, we have the spring, summer, winter, and summer. I'm going to take the Bible account from God the Creator and not man and the devil and the nonsense. Yeah. Towards the end of the epic poem, this is all a poem. I got scriptures. I don't have a poem. In Anna's descent into the underworld, capital E T C S L, capital all capitals E T C S L, one period four period one. I don't know what that is. In Moon's Eye's wife, that's Tamu. Tamu has a sister, and he has a wife. Now, Jesus Christ doesn't have a sister, but he has a wife, and it's called the bride, the church. I am the bride of Jesus Christ. So, in Moon's eye, or Tamus's wife, and Anna. So, when we're studying in Anna now, we're looking at the wife of Tamu, who's called in Moon's eye. Emunzai or Emunzai's wife in and, and escapes the underworld. Jesus Christ's bride does not go to the underworld, does not go into hell, Hades. Now, if the bride dies, she is absent from the body and present with the Lord. One day to be raptured, dead or alive. Emunzai's wife in and, and escapes the underworld, but is pursued by a horde of Gala demons who insist that someone else must take her place in the underworld. Will you stop copying from the Bible? Someone need to take my place in sin. And Jesus Christ took my place in sin. And Jesus Christ went into hell, deposited my sins, preached to the, to the spirits that were in hell, took the keys of death and hell, crossed that gulf that Abraham said no one can cross, went over to Abraham's bosom and, and got those saints that were in Abraham's bosom, and that dying thief, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Alright, so she's being chased by demons, and they, someone has to be in the underworld. They first come upon Inanna, Suckle, S-U-K-K-A-L. I'm going to read and spell. What I don't know. Nishabur. Capital N-I-N-S-H-U-B-U-R. Let's see how you pronounce these names. They attempt to take her. But Inanna stops them. Insisting that Nishabur is her loyal servant. So Anna has loyal servants, and that she had rightfully mourned for her while she was in the underworld. So when Anna goes to the underworld and you didn't mourn for Anna, you were in big trouble. This morning, I don't know, have we done mourning yet? Yeah, we done mourning. Right between when and Istar. So not last week, last week, but the week before, where we did mourning. There's a mourning of Tamuz, and there's a mourning for the wife of Tamuz and Anna. And if you didn't mourn in Anna, you were in trouble. You were going to the underworld. It's not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's, you know, I wasn't sorry in Anna went to the underworld. Where was I? The next come upon Shara, S-H-A-R-A, in Anna's beautician. Oh, give me a break. Hairdressers. 
who is still mourning. The demons attempt to take him. She's got a male beautician. I wonder if he's on the freaky side. I didn't see. But in an insist that they may not, because he also mourned for her. The third person they come to is Lula. Lula. L U L A L. Who is also in mourning. The demons try to take him. But Inanna stops them once again. Finally, they come upon Inunza. That's Taman. Who is lavishly clothed and resting beneath a tree. Or sitting on Inanna's throne. We don't know what he's doing. He's either sitting underneath a tree or sitting on her throne. So the mother, I mean, the wife of Tammuz has a throne. Uh, would you call her the queen of heaven? Oh, man. All right, so where were we? All right, so he's either sitting underneath a tree, and you find Deborah sitting underneath a tree. You found Abraham took care of God and the, and the two angels sitting underneath a tree and various other places. Or sitting on Inanna's throne, the wife of Taman, entertained by slave girls. Inanna, displeased, decrees that the demons shall take him, using language which echoes the speech. Urshikyal, capital E R E S H K I G A L, gave while condemning her. So she finds her husband under a tree on her throne being entertained. He's not sad, and she tells the demons to go get him in a harsh language that echoes. The demons then drag Inunzai, Tamus, down to the underworld. Bible says that rich man died and in hell he lifted up his eyes. The Sumerian, Sumerian, S U M E R I A N, poem of the dream of Inunzai, capital E, capital T, capital S, capital S, capital E, capital T, capital C, capital S, capital L, 1.4.3, begins with Inunzai telling Gisht. Gishtana, his sister, about the frightening dream he was experiencing. Then the Gala demons arrived to drag Inuzai down into the underworld as Inanna's replacement. Inuzai flees and hides. Great God. My Jesus Christ, when it came to this death on the cross, did not flee, did not hide. He said, here I am. And he put his hands out, was nailed to that cross, and died. The Gala demons brutally tortured Gersetana. That's the sister. The Romans and the, and the servants of the high priest beat Jesus Christ. Well, they brutally tortured Gazana in an attempt to force her to tell them where the Nunzai was hiding. Once upon a time there was Gazana, however, refuses to tell them where her brother has gone. The Gala go to Nunzai unnamed friend friend and they got in quotes friend you mean like Judas? You mean like Judas? Who betrays Inunzai. Ah! You see, the devil knows the Bible. And the de devil changes the Bible, the stories, and mythology, a cult, they call it, and he also changes the Bible into modern versions. Telling God exactly where Inunzai is hiding. Remember, Inunzai is tame. The wimp. The Gala captured Uzai, but Utu, 
capital U-T-U, the God of the Son, capital S-U-N, who is also Inanna's brother. So Inanna is married to Imunzai, who's Tamun. She has a throne. She goes to the underworld, comes out of the underworld. She puts her husband in the underworld in replace of her. And her brother is YouTube, not YouTube, YouTube, the son. Would that make her the moon? Mary? Muslims? You can't make this stuff up, but the devil does. Who is in on his brother rescues the moon's eye from transforming him into a gazelle. Ah. Eventually, the god will recapture him moon's eye and drag him down to the underworld. In the Sumerian, Sumerian, S U M E R I A N poem, the return of Inuzai, which begins where the dream of Inuzai ends, Yashatana, the sister of Tamu, Inuzai, laments continually for days and nights over Inuzai's death, where we get the weeping of the women we already talked about. Joined by Inanna, who has apparently experienced a change of heart in Sirtu, S I R T U R, in Moonzai's mother. Tamuz has a mother who's married to Inanna, whose brother Utu is the god of the sun. The three goddesses, that's Inanna, Sirtu, and Inanna, Sirtu, which is Enunzai's mother, and Angusatana, is to Enunzai's uh, sister. I'm getting all confused here. So the wife, the sister, and the mother are all mourning. So the three goddesses mourn continually until a fly reveals to Inanna the location of her husband, Beelzebub, the lord of the fly. They find him there and Inanna decrees that from that point onward, Inunzai will spend half of the year with his, with his sister Urshkal another sister, E-R-E-S-H-K-I-G-A-L, in the underworld, and the other half of the, in the other half of the year, in heaven, capital H, with her, while Gishtitana, his other sister, takes his place in the underworld. So, Inunzai Temu spends half his time in the underworld, with his sister Urshakel. The other half of the year he spends it in heaven with Inanna, while his other sister, Gershutana, takes his place in the underworld. And his mother's mourning, and a fly comes up and tells him, I'll bet you a fly, the Lord of the Flies, the devil came up. The Hebrew Bible, that's my Bible. Also contains references to Tamuz's consort, wife, Ish. Tamuz's consort, Inanna Inna Ishtar. I gotta take a break. Let me get a little drink of coffee. Forgive me. So in the Bible, you see Inanna Ishtar mentioned as the queen of heaven. The queen of heaven that you read about in the Bible in Jeremiah 7, we'll look at it in a moment, is this Inanna Ishtar. It is Easter. It is Inanna who's the wife of Demunzai, Tamuz, who has a throne 
as the Catholics put their Mary, not my Mary, the Bible. So we see the union of Catholic Church, paganism, Roman and Greek mythology, Babylonianism, involved in Tammuz, Istar, and Anna, and your Baptist church celebrates Easter and Christmas and thinks it has to do with the Bible and Jesus Christ. But we can't read Jeremiah because Jeremiah chapter 10, that's surely not about the Christmas tree. The consort in Anna Istar mentioned the Queen of Heaven, who is probably a S Y N C R E T I S M. I have no idea. I forgot to look that up. Of Inanna Estar and the West Semitic goddess Estarte. A S T A R T E. There you go. We are in the realm of Easter and Christmas and Babylonian and Egyptian and Roman mythology gods and Mary. It started. That's Easter or Estar. No doubt about it, unless you don't know your history and you don't know your occultism, and you don't know mythology. And woe be to the pastor behind a pulpit that involves with Easter and Christmas and don't know this stuff and allows it. Woe be to him he hasn't read Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and the two Babylons to understand what they are celebrating in their church is false. The Song of, the song of Songs bears a strong similarity to the Sumerian love poems involving Inanna and Inunzai. No. The Sumerian love poems have been copied in the replacement of Solomon's song of Song of Solomon. Remember, I didn't write this. These are scholars, and I have two pages. Two pages. Two pages of them. Okay, I got two pages. Of their names. So some of the stuff I don't agree with, they copied, and I just lost my place. Forgive me. We'll find out where I was. Okay. They copied from from the Bible, not the Bible copied from them. So Jeremiah seven eighteen. The children gathered wood. The fathers kindled the fire. And the women, okay, there's father, mothers, and children, need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. You know what that cake is. It's called the wafer. It's called the host. And it has a big cross on it. And it's a big Alka-Seltzer. It'll, it will upset your entire eternity when you keep taking that Baptist alka seltzer and you end up not in the underworld, you end up in hell. By proposing to eat and drink a Jewish body of Jesus Christ, Revelation chapter 12, when the Bible forbids before the law, during the law, and the church age, it forbids the eating and drinking of blood calls it an abomination. The Catholic Church calls it a mess. I call it a mess. Make their cakes to the Queen of Heaven. The Queen of Heaven is Inanna and Istar. Your Easter. Your hot cross buns. Go get on our website. Go look up Easter in disguise. Go to our download page and download and read and print the copy of Easter in disguise. And to pour out drink offerings, there's the cake and there's the blood. And God says, pour out drink offerings unto other gods. 
small g o d s, and they provoke me, God, to anger. The mass angers God as you do it not to Jesus, not to Mary, you do it to the Queen of Heaven in Anna and his star. And if you're going to be a preacher and a pastor of a church and get upset with me, you are upset with the facts and the biblical history, and you are upset with the facts of Egyptian and Babylonian and Roman and mythology history. You're the one that's lacking, not Stiley Hayward. When you are involved in Easter and you're involved in Christmas, Mary Tamu's Mass, that's the name of this series, you are at error. You need to repent of your sins, not styling. Jeremiah 44, 15 to 19. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, small g, O D S, and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, maybe they would call them nuns, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, and Pathros answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, Jehovah, we will not hearken to unto thee. You know what a lot of Catholics do when I witness to them out of the Bible? We're going to do what our tradition in our church and our folks said. We, we don't care what the Bible says. Listen, we stand outside the Catholic Mass of Christmas Eve, handing out gospel tracts and preaching the gospel to Catholics as they go into their church for candlelight Mass on Christmas. We have been outside the Catholic Church, never inside. We have been outside the, the, the Catholic Church on, on Good Friday as they do the Passion Walk of an imitation Jesus Christ. We pass out gospel tracts and we preach the gospel to Catholics. As for the word that thou hast spoken us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. But we will certainly do whatsoever goeth forth out of our own mouth, Catholic Church, and some pastors and preachers, we don't care what the Bible says. We're going to do what tradition in our college and my, my, my friends in the ministry do. Stiley is a rebel, rebel, uh, rebel, and he doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't know who gave him the, the title of doctor. He don't deserve it. I can give you my, my grades and I can show you the certificate that I have earned my doctor, Stanley William Hayward, just as much as you have. You just did not learn the right Bible. You didn't learn the right ways. Ooh. But we will certainly do what's over coming forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven Ishtar in Anna and to pour out our drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our fathers, our kings and our princes and the cities of Jewish listen, kings, fathers, family that's Catholic and in the streets of Jerusalem for then we had plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil but since we left off to burn incense in the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have want of all things. And have consumed by the sword. And See all the trouble that's coming upon Judah right now in Jerusalem? Because the Queen of Heaven, Mary, Ishtar, Tammuz, and Inanna are upset with us because we stopped having Mass. I mean, maybe it's what caused COVID-19. And we got to get back to Mass. we got to get back to the Queen of Heaven. And God will, will love us. And Mary will, will pardon us. A bunch of nonsense. A bunch of garbage. And wait till the churches have their Christmas celebration this year. It was blown in Easter. Easter COVID-19 blew the Easter services. Song of Solomon 610. Who is she that looking forth as the morning? Fair as the moon. Clear as the sun. And terrible as army with banner. That's the church. Okay, our next topic. 
only got two points. Women. 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 The same women who mourned the death of Tammuz also prepared cakes. We just read in Jeremiah. For his consort, his wife, his star, the queen of heaven. The queen of heaven in, in Jeremiah is his star. Astarte. Easter. Mary of the Catholics, not Mary of the Bible. What are you going to do now? And we're not done with it. We still got marriage. That's next week, Lord willing. We got Jesus versus Tamu. We have Christmas. Ooh, we got a lot of Christmas. Then we're done. We've got marriage, Jesus versus Tamu's, and Christmas. So we got one, two, and Christmas may be two. One, two. We, we may have three or four more weeks. They bake little cakes. You know who bakes the, the little wafers, the oats? The last time I knew, it could, it could change, the last time I knew, were the official makers of the host was a nunnery church in California. The official holes were made by a bunch of nuns in California. And those cakes are given to Mary, though they say Jesus. Mary is the, is the Catholic God, not Jesus. Because you can get around Jesus and go to God through Mary. And they'll tell you that. And I've got the, the, the Catholic... Had it. Catechism. It's over there somewhere. So about the same women who mourned the death of Tammuz also prepared cakes for his consort, his wife, his star, the Queen of Heaven. That's in Jeremiah. These cakes would be baked in ashes. Several cake molds discovered in Mari, M-A-R-I, Syria, revealed that they were also at least sometimes shaped like naked women. Did you know that? Those cakes given to Esther, the Queen of Heaven, some of those, the, the, the molds, the, 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 the cupcake, whatever you want to call them, they look like naked women. Women bewailed the death of Tammuz at the hands of his master, who is said to have, quote, ground his bones in a mill and scattered them to the wind, unquote. Consequently, women would forego to be eaten ground foods during the festival time. Well, you find it in the Bible, too, when, when Jacob wrestled with the angel, I think it was his thigh that went out of whack. So today it says the children of Israel won't eat anything of the thigh. It's the devil and his religion stealing what they want out of the Bible. Like the Book of Mormon, just steal things out of the Bible. But I hope you've seen from this lesson here, I hope you see that Mary Tammuz mask is in relationship of marriage. We'll get to marriage next week, Lord willing. Of Istar, Easter, and Christmas. Under Tammuz, which is also in the Bible. And now we point it to you. It points out the, the Roman Catholic Mass and worship of the Queen of Heaven. And if we confess our sins, he is, faithful in the, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of unra unrighteousness. 
if your church doesn't get involved in getting rid of Easter and Christmas, Christian, you better. And when you go to our website, you'll find all information, not complete. I mean, there's much information more out there on Easter and Christmas and Santa Claus. But get yourself... Oh. <laughs> That's the two Babylons. See that? That's the two Babylons. Islam. You see Islam? Islam. You see that? This book here, Board Index, with notes and appendix, 323 pages. In order to be called, second. In order to be called Dr. Stiley William Hayward, and there's another book, I'm not going to find that one. It's up there. I don't remember how bad last time. It's the Babylon Mystery Babylon. It's, it's up there somewhere. This is a hard book to read. I had to read this entire book and answer questions in the classroom. Study. This will tell you about all the error of Christmas and Easter. Now I'm telling you, if you get involved in this book right here, you get time in the book, and you still celebrate Easter and Christmas, and with all the other mess. The two Babylons, or the Papal worship, proved to be the worship of Nidrod and his wife, Reverend Alexander Hisla. Chapter 3, Christmas and the Lady Day. Lady Day. Easter. He gets in all kinds, relic worship, rosary, lamps, wax, candles, the priest, monk, and nothing. He gets it all. You'll find that Christmas and Easter is a Babylonian, Alexander, Catholic, Roman holiday. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care what anybody else says. It has nothing to do with the church. And I'm going to go so far to stick my neck out like John the Baptist when they cut it off. I'll go far as to go. It's a sin. I don't get involved in it. Now, I'll go to church when it comes up to Easter, but when they do the nonsense, I won't do it. Any and all the churches I've been in. It's a sin. Easter and Christmas is a sin. And you can say whatever you want to me. But Christian, you'll stand before the judgment seat of Christ and your Christmas and your Easter will get wood, hay, and stubble. And we all, hey, I can't force you. I'm just doing to the love of God and honor of God what you study. And if you want to keep it, you want to, want to keep following, you like it, and everything like that, go ahead, you're... I'm just telling you what the facts are. Now, we, we looked at Jeremiah today, but I have been quoting from people, archaeology and PhDs and doctors, and I have been quoting from people who know what they're talking about and know these regions and know the people and know the religions. And today I brought to you the Bible. And I've shown you, Catholic, that your Queen of Heaven shows up in the Bible and it angers God. That the Catholic Church is a lie, the Pope, there is no hope. You need to get right with God. You need to repent of your sin. And if you're not saved, you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Not the Catholic Jesus. 
God, who is Jesus, who suffered on the cross for our sins. The virgin birth, Jesus. And if you are a Christian and if you want to get right with God and you're involved in this mess, you got to repent and forsake it. Because I'm going to tell you, and you got a free will, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to torture you. I'm not going to visit your house. I am not going to mention your name. If you want to keep this nonsense. But I'm going to tell you you're sinning against God. And it will not be well at the judgment seat of Christ for you. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, go ahead. That's your free will. I've given you the facts. And what you do with them. I have delivered to what God has had me to deliver. You have heard it. Now it's up to it's up to you and God. 